Hello friends, welcome to your favorite channel IVMS. So today we are doing our a, a challenge from finding mentor called the social links profile. So this is a new by challenge for new for beginners. So we'll be changing you the basics of HTML and CSS. So if you haven't downloaded the challenge, make sure that you download it from finding mentor and come inside your code editor of choice um, of, of Visual Studio Code. So this is where I am. So I've got these two files that I have in the CSS file in the index file. So these are the files that we're going to be using to create this application. So first, let me show you how we're going to do it. I'm going to first of all create a doc with HTML. Then I'll create an HTML with language English. This one. Then let's let's have some spacing between. Then after inside the spacings, I'm going to add a head tags and body text. Then let's have a meta character UTF dash eight. Then let's have some meta 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 name viewpoint and content width and scale one. This is for mobile responsiveness. Then let's also add some links. For the links, I'm going to set a rely icon. Then type image. Then if this image this image that will appear on the tag is found inside the assets folder design this one inside so this is where you are going to get a, a favicon inside favicon this is the image that you shall be using for this one called favicon so this is the image that you shall be using for to be displayed right at the top of the header so it will be found on the type then then after that one are going to add a link to our style css file then let's add title front and mental social links then inside I'm going to add uh, firstly a main then with page wrapper then center content then this is a main class so now I'm going to add a section first section inside this section I'm going to add a class name section then let's add a div with a div I'm going to add a container default with class name container dash default then inside I'm going to add a sub a sub div with class name card with a second class name vflex then let's add a figure inside. Therefore, the figure I'm going to give it a class name figure. Then I will have an image that I'm going to add there. This is this is the image that we want. Let's give it a source assets at slash for slash image for slash av aviator Jessica. Then let's add text out Jessica. Then let's give it a class name image. Then after after that, I'm going to add outside the fig. I'm I'm going to add a h1 text. For this h1 text, I'm going to give them a class name of adding one. Then let's save this text inside. Then let's have H2 text with class name adding dash H2. Then let's save paragraph text with class name paragraph. Then let's save this text that will go inside. Now I'm going to set in an order listing. So this is an order listing that I have. I'm going to get it with class name menu rep. Then let's save listings, first listings with class name menu list. Then inside I'm going to set up a link with the text GitHub. Then let's add some target blank. Then a ref for to get aside then class link then let's add a cl seven class name with menu class name menu list then let's add hyperlinks front end mentor with target blank and an href address then let's set a clean a link then after that i'm going to set another class name menu link then for this one i'm going to add a linked in then let's set a blank target blank href then class link so if i do that i'm going to add the last link which is code menu list again this is the new class name so if i okay okay mistake okay like this one let's add hyperlinks then with text target blank then let's add an i an href then class link then let's have another links things for this reason i'm going to use menu list same then let's have hyperlinks to target blank address the on href then let's get class name link okay so now you can see if i if i i'm going to click on go live so that i open this inside the development server google chrome of course so now let's go on to so there you can see this is what i have now i'm for for me to match up to this design we are going to do some very important css styling okay you can now see that i've got i'm, I'm inside the file css so automatically there is a font there is this font font link Font style that we, that we that we have provided on line one you get inside my source code so now there we are so now what we are going to do, we are going, I'm going to say, 
let's create an, let's start everything margin zero padding zero then let's have a border box of box then let's start so with these changes that i have, I have before i go inside and paste i want to check i want to make sure that we are on the same page they can see after just styling this one so now i'm just going to say root so now i'm going to paste inside this paste this this these are the codes that we shall be using so i'll be referring to this cause variables to on inside my css styling now i'm going to say border body font size 14 line i don't come up for font family then font weight then let's have a background color using the root the variable that, that we've created on line 9 okay so if i come back and i check it you can see that the background has changed and everything now i'm going to go on to put the color of the text then let's start the section for the section i'm going to set the padding 120 overflow hidden so if i before i go let me come and check they can see the overflow has been hidden and then let's come back inside i'm going to say wrap 100 pixels then let's have minimum height of 100 and hundred percent so so if i check a look they can see the changes that we've applied let's let's tell the center content okay i'm going to set it display flexing just for content center items align center then if you can see that we we have better aligned or okay now let me just minimize so that it's side by side okay they can see now i've, I've set up the browser on the right side and the in our future studio code editor on the right side but i can minimize i can i can better expand this this barely okay let me collapse the the menu like this one and then we can have it this side then we can expand our code that's how you you can put it side by side now we go back inside our browser and let's now let our visual studio code editor now let's continue coding let me style the content default they can see i've set margin of auto zero padding 20 to 20 pixels now maximum width of 430 pixels they can see now let's tell the card let's for the card i'm going to give it a border radius of 10 10 pixels background color of variable checks then let's have a padding of 16 38 and 40. then you can also see that i'm now styling the vx then I'm going to set display flexi, flexi direction column, align items to the center, just write flexi start. Then let's start the figure. Now for the figure, I'm going to give what it is 50% and overflow hidden. Now let's give it a maximum width of 92 pixels, maximum height of 92 pixels. Okay, now we are done with this one. Let's start the image for the image. I'm I'm going to set maximum width of 100%. They can see now it's better, it's better aligned to the center. Height 100%. Then object fit cover. Then let's start the heading one. For the heading one, I'm going to say font size 24 pixels. Each one takes, they can see. Then we will send variable font weight. On font weight, you have set a variable of FW600. Margin bottom. Then let's start the h2 takes london then for the h2 takes i'm going to give them a color they can see the text primary color has been applied then let's say a font size of 14 pixels then let's say a font weight of fw 700 margin bottom then let's style now the paragraph for the paragraph i'm going to give it a font weight of 500 of fw 600 variable margin bottom 24 pixels then let's start the menu rep for the menu rep i'm going to give it a maximum width of 100 percent of display flexi flexi direction column gap 12 pixels then let's start the menu listings i'm going to give it list style to none they let's start the link Display block with 100%. Border radius X pixels. Text align center. Background colors. Variable text 200. Padding 15, 15 pixels. Then text decoration none. 
let's say the color of the text to white then let's set font weight 700 then let's start the link on over background color variable text primary color variable text 300 then let's save keyframes okay on over if i start you can now see that this link on over is now applied correctly then let's save keyframes for mobile responsiveness okay kids claim for animations then let's save set at zero we want obviously to be zero and margin 10 pixels then it 100 percent want it to be opacity one yes there was it just as you can see i've completed this side now i'm going to i'm not going to show you how we are going to deploy this solution to our github account and submit this solution to front end mentor so for do that i'm going to say github okay let's log into github account now for this github account i'm, I'm going to create a new let's say new okay social links okay let me just call it social and let's make it private make it public then let's say create repository okay so i'm going to let me maximize this one so that we get a better view. If I go there, let me come inside the browser and let's close the our project that we have built. Now you're going to say save and we close the folder. Now the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to upload some existing files. So now these are the files that we're going to be, let me minimize this one and let's come inside and we add, okay open this file and click on control everything and we drag all these files into our github account so this will take some time so i'll pause the video and come back when it says finish uploading so now that we, we we're done with this one we can now minimize then you just have to say okay let me just add in this let's just add the title and let's say first commit then we say commit changes this is how we have completed this challenge so so there's you can see i've uploaded everything and you can find your url here on this site 